scrappy peeps, Susanna here today for the scrap room to share with you a layout that I created using the double shot kit. So that's the completed layout. And this is the double shot kit for the month of May. You get some Bella Boulevard as well as some fancy pants. And I use the fancy pants bright side collection in the double shot to create that layout. So that digital cut file says laugh and I cut it out in both white and black. And I wasn't sure whether I was going to use the white or the black. So I tried out the different pattern papers behind uh, the black and I decided that I liked the way that the black actually popped my daughter's hair and the pictures more than the way that um, it did with the white digital cut file. So I decided to go with the white um, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this but I created this digital cut file myself. Um, it is not one that I downloaded from the Silhouette store which is where I typically get my cut files from. So what I did then is I literally just traced the outline of each of the letters and then fussy cut that and then backed each of the letters. So I will show you in somewhat regular speed uh, the first letter and then after that I am literally going to zip through all of them because it's literally the exact same process. Trace it in pencil, fussy cut it with my scissors, use my Martha Stewart blue glue pen, liquid glue pen to glue that down and move on to the next letter. So the double shot kits come with four pieces of pattern paper and there are five letters. So I used both sides of two of the papers and then the H, the last letter, is actually still fancy pants but it's not from the bright side collection and it's not from the bright side kit. The green and white stripe that I have up the top there that you see right there uh, I could have used on the back of one of the letters but I really wanted to stick with the color scheme of the pink, the yellow, and the blue with the green and white up the top and I didn't want that green and white repeated again and so that's that's why I went with a different stripe that is sort of one of the unifying colors uh, or the pattern paper that sort of unifies the colors as well as that floral that is in the U there. Um, and so that is just from my stash, that piece of 6 by 6 pattern paper that I'll use at the end there. I am using the cardstock that came with the kit and the remainder of the bulk of this video is actually of the mixed media that goes in behind all of these pictures. So these pictures have to do with the title. It's why the title is called Laugh. We were at dinner one night on spring break and I don't know what my husband said, but he said something funny. We had had a long day roaming around the Biltmore and it was pretty hot and my daughter just broke into absolute hysterics like crying hysterics and I got these series of pictures and I absolutely love them they just they speak to her and the fun of her um, so that's why I have these series of pictures my original intent was to use them um, at, as the collage that you saw them as but I liked the movement that staggering them created. I did also try to put them all the way across and then have a little bit more room for the journaling and actually to see the mixed media but I, I actually I like them this way um, with that saying that says the good stuff from the digital, uh, not digital sorry, the ephemera pack that came with my collection uh, I, I liked that in there with the shot of black that then complements laugh. So I am now going to test out some mixed media that I am going to use behind laugh and behind the photos. And what you see just looks like a giant mess, but once you actually put all of that stuff on top of it, it's just a subtle splash of color that just adds some fun te texture and element to the layout. So this yellow is dandelion um, and it's a creamies from Shimmers. So I'm just painting that, um, I'm activating it with water and then painting a yellow stripe on the background. And again, see how when I put the word on top of it, you don't really see all of it. It's just this pop of color that pops through. So I'm going to grab another color now um, and I actually wanted a little bit more color and I wanted to use the packaging technique. So I'm going to activate with water and then put that color on some packaging 
add a little bit more water and I actually end up adding too much water uh, so I'm going to have to get that off or it's going to drip as I flip it onto my paper there so you see I move the photos out of the way um, sop up just a little bit of that color and then um, I'm going to flip that down right into the center of the paper there and just again I actually really like it but it looks kind of like paint splatter on the back of the page um, but once I get those photos on there you'll see where it just pops that pink and actually you don't really see a lot of the pink because that all ends up being behind the photos but it does peek out in little corners here and there uh, I wanted something more to go under laugh so that it went through the center of all the letters and not just the hit the top of the letters this is a lighter color. Uh, I think this one is Buddy's favorite color, uh, but you can see there it, it didn't really come out. I, my brush wasn't exactly clean, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, some packaging technique on top of that, and that is actually Heidi Swap Ocean, so that actually has a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, and again, you really just see more of the shimmer on the blue at the top poking out from behind the photos and um, I am going to splatter some of that mist and you really don't end up seeing that at all. I had that stencil that I referred to or uh, that I tried using earlier uh, and it is florals that sort of match the florals that are in that pattern paper as well as the flowers that I'll end up putting on later on and I decided that I, I really wanted a little bit more yellow in the page because otherwise that A, um, the yellow in the A just kind of ends up standing out and looking singular. So I'm going to use this pasties the yellow pasties through this stencil. It's a Tim Holtz stencil and just add a little more pop of yellow there. There you go. See how the yellow really pops the pink in her shirt and pops those photos. And then a hint up the top. And again, this is just going to poke out from behind the photos, which is fine with me, um, but you can see how different it looks on the paper versus what it looks like uh, in the completed layout. So I want the title to stand out, so I'm going to um, fast forward through my laying down some Scotch foam adhesive. I just put it on the back of each of those letters. Try and put it uniformly so that uh, when it does go in a page protector, it doesn't eventually sink over time. And then I have to peel all the backing off of that. And what I'm going to do before I lay that down is I'm going to take some green thread, just a hint of green, and I'm just going to sort of randomly apply it, there we go, um, to my mixed media there. And it just adds a, a hint of color, a hint of green behind the title there. And you'll see that better in the close-ups. There we go. So now it's time to add the five photos and some embellishments. So uh, what I love about the double shot kit from the scrap room is that you get a ton of embellishments. I uh, tend to go fairly embellishment heavy on my layouts. I wouldn't say heavy. I, I, I tend to use a lot of embellishments, but I always do have a purpose for most of my embellishments. So I'm just sort of sorting through the embellishments and I'm looking for um, ones that have either rel relevancy in the theme and or are generic enough. I love that light bulb and the light bulb says, look on the bright side and I end up using that because I have five photos. Um, I kind of use that light bulb as a placeholder to fill in the hole for where that sixth photo would go if I were to have had six photos. So I'm going to start with that one in the middle to just get my spacing of things correctly and then I'm going to apply adhesive to the back of all the other photos and stick those down. Uh, they are a little bit haphazard, but I thought that the haphazard went with well with the mixed media as well as just the silliness of the page and the movement there. So you can see how when I put the bottom two photos in the center, how it sort of creates this triangle down the page. And that isn't bad, but I like the light bulb to the right there and how that sort of um, acts as a sixth photo. So that little uh, black speech bubble, it's not really a bubble, says 
this right here um, and I thought that was really fitting for the photos as well as it added just another third hint of black to the page um, that kind of tied everything together so that your eye moved from laugh to that little black speech bubble over to the good stuff. So I have a couple of flowers that are going to go on the left hand side of the photos coming out of the good stuff and I have the light bulb and you can see that gold foil heart there and later on I think I believe I do do this off camera there are um, some gold not gold um, green puffy hearts that I'm going to use I'm going to put one by the light bulb and one over there by the flowers on the left hand side So I've placed everything, now I'm committing to it and just going to use some adhesive and put it down. I have a ton of embellishments left over from uh, this kit. I also actually have a lot of pattern paper because the only pattern paper I really used was to back the word laugh and then to put that little strip up the top. Um, I like to have headers or footers on my layouts so that things don't uh, float away. That's what I feel like happens. So I have that little header up there um, and so I really have a lot more pattern paper with which to do other things with as well as embellishments to um, continue scrapping after this layout. So I'm going to adhere that all down and the other element that I am going to add that came with the kit, you can see those little, uh, again, there, there's the puffy hearts that are on there as well. There are some um, puffy sort of arrows and I'm going to put three of them up by the photo on the top right there and then I am going to call that done my friends. So this layout was created with the May double shot kit from the scrap room. If you leave my name uh, in the comment section if you happen to order anything from the scrap room there is a gift in store for you a fun little surprise. I hope you have enjoyed this process video. Uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you're doing well. Take care.